them basically shaking your hand and stabbing you in the back. The appeasement to go to a working group does absolutely nothing when it comes on the back of the policy that's already been implemented. The fact that they are only going to discuss seven points, irrespective of everything else that's in that very highly contentious document, means that they're not really worried about everything else that's in that document. The prime example is what I mentioned previously, where our colleagues in the police service decide not to take any further action with regards to allegations or claims. That's the end of it as far as the UK judicial system is concerned, not as far as licensing is concerned. They then have the remit under this new policy to take your livelihood away. How can that be right or just? If our police service, which I have a great respect for, have said, you're okay, go back and do your job, go out there and earn a living, put food on the table, put food in your children's mouths, pay your mortgage or your rent, pay your loan on your car, put shoes on your feet, clothes on your back. If that's acceptable to the UK judicial system, why is it not acceptable to a licensing authority? A lot of you don't know me, and I'm glad of that. I come from a background which I was a police officer. So I know how our colleagues work. And I know the decisions and difficult decisions they have to take. And I know the processes they go through. They're very thorough, they're very robust. They never leave any stone unturned. They don't work on the balance of probability. They work on fact. These guys in here, as they've already admitted to you, are working on the balance of probability and supposition. You cannot enforce a policy and enforce from that policy if there are no direct guidelines on how to enforce the policy. How can you impose a position on somebody if you have no idea how to impose that position on somebody? If it's not already been applied to somebody, are you then setting a precedent? Precedents can be challenged. Precedents will be challenged. We have one avenue left to us outside of this licensing authority. Unfortunately, for those of you, could be anybody, could be me tomorrow even. For those of you that may be caught up in this new regime, Dare I say the word and it grinds me to say it. Fascist regime. Our policy, it's our policy, we're going to adopt it irrespective of what you say or do. That's exactly what we heard in there. So going on from today, I echo what my good colleague from the GMB has said and our colleagues from the LPHDO. If there is a move, by this authority prior to Friday when this policy is implemented because they can't implement it over a weekend. If nothing happens by this Friday, we will sit down, unite GMB, LPHDO and every other responsible person who is going to be affected by this and we will go through the correct legal channels. We will cross the T's. We will dot the I's. But by God, will we bring leads to a standstill? Now that you've heard from GMP and United, we are all working together, and this is the first time in the history of, I think, any organisation. No one has ever come together. We are together, and like to keep a big.